Hey there, and welcome to Andy's podcast, where we don't do boring. It's my spot on the little blue and green dot. And uh, yes, we talk about the same things every week and how they intertwine to make your life better. And I'm trying to pass them on to make your life better and just to help you through things, whether it's uh, uh, saving you time and money through my experience, um, whether it's offering ways of balance and compromise, which can save you time and money, but can also help you become more successful. And um, I'm trying to communicate. I do it uh, to help me be a better communicator. I'm a very good talker, but I'm not a very good communicator, I've been told. Yes, that does stick around in my videos, but uh, and that's what I'm trying to improve. Um, so one of the questions I was asked recently, actually recently, a few weeks ago, and it's taken me a few weeks to come up with an answer. And that is, uh, must be a world record for me, I can tell you. Um, because usually I research a subject and I can, and I have a very worldly view because I've traveled a lot and I can answer the question, but nope, not this time. Um, where do I want to be? Somebody said to me, well, where do you want to be? I'm not talking about the journey to get there. Where do you want to be? especially in here. Where do you want to be? And I thought, where do I want to be? What do you mean? And it took me a long time to even sort the question out in my head, but not think about the ways I could achieve more and more and more and go in 5,000 different directions to get to where the end of that thread, the end of possibility. I have a possibility to do this. I can possibly do that. I could, I've could. i got so many choices. I have tons of stuff. I've got a lot of things I could do, you know, and there's a lot of things I could learn. But I'm, I don't, I'm not in the business of just learning new things. I, that doesn't inspire me at all. Um, what inspires me is to go to work and meet more people and communicate. So, uh, and I don't need any more stuff. I've been trying to get rid of stuff. No, you can't have my good stuff, no. Anyway, um, so, uh, and then I thought about, well, wait a minute, where do I want to be? And I thought, well, I'm not, I don't want to be a bubble light or an apathetic. Mm. <laughs> I thought that and then I thought, well, you do have your own bubbles, Andy, don't you? Yes. So I'm admitting it on TV live to 15 people, right? <laughs> I do have bubbles and my comfort bubble. I love when I first built my house, it wasn't mine. I bought it very cheaply and I spent lots of money doing it to the way I thought I wanted it and the way I, I have got it and it's what I want. Um, but it's comfort, you know, um, I am in the market for a new comfy chair, by the way. Yes, a recliner. I do want a more comfortable chair. Haven't, haven't bought any chairs for a long time. Anyway, so comfort. I have a comfort bubble and I like to do things and if I don't want to do them, I don't do them. So I have a choice about my own comfort level. So I am in a bit of a bubble as far as that goes. I'll, cer I'll, I'll certainly, if, if there's a challenge and I'm up to it, I'll certainly step out of my bubble anytime and be not comfortable, um, but uh, not very often. You know, I'm, I'm older now, I, I have a choice. So and joy and fulfillment are another bubble. I enjoy feeling joy. And I enjoy being fulfilled when I when I do something and I achieve it and I think, wow, that's cool. I love that. I mean, the success of my YouTube channel, and it's not a big channel, 17,000 subscribers. I'm not exactly setting the world on fire, but people enjoy it. And they, they write to me, strangers write to me and say, watched your channel, got so much from it. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping my family. The kids are inspired by you. One day we're going to come and meet you and all that stuff. So that gives me joy as well. You know, it's, I, I feel fulfilled that my message and the way I do things is helping other people. And that's why I do the podcast. Um, my work um, uh, gives me is is gives me joy. And, and, and I, I love what I do. So I can't lose from that. Um, you know, uh, even when it's hard grafty work and things I don't really want to tackle, I know that it's going to be better at the end. So I enjoy my work and get on with it. And, uh, and uh, that's it. But I have to make time to slow down. So Andy's made a decision to, to get to, to be where he wants to be or to, to be at that place. Um, he has to slow down a bit. <laughs> Most people down around the planet who hear me say that will go, Oh, thank goodness. He's finally going to slow down. Um, yes, but in a, in a, in a different way. I'm just, I'm changing lanes. Oh, we talked about that. I'm changing lanes to go from more, uh, a, a more physical working environment to a, uh, a less physical working environment, still physical, but I still enjoy what I do, but I just know I can't do it forever because time is against me. So there you go. So my legacy will be what? I don't know. It'll be a bunch of digital videos on YouTube, which people can learn to build sandcastles from. Well, whoopee. You know, if, if it go, goes on for a long time, I know my system will work a long time until the beach changes. Not not any time soon, really. So uh, there you go. And so my success in myself, I'm very happy with that. I'm happy where I am. Um, and I don't have any regrets. 
you know, people have this, uh, this bubble of regret. They carry around like a big old bag. All the regrets stuffed into it. Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. Oh, I made such a mistake here. They don't see, they see them as regrets. And that's just a waste of time. I, I can't do that. I can't see mistakes I, I made um, being regrets, you know. And there are different directions I could have taken. Very, very different directions I could have taken with my life. And literally started over again. And, um, you know, relationships being one of them. You know, I, I've had many relationships, but it's... Uh, yeah, I chose that I either didn't want to be there anymore or they chose they didn't want to be involved anymore. And that's fine. You know, it's it's we, we went our separate ways because it just wasn't working where we were. And some of the blame I take for myself, you know, it's uh, and uh, we're not talking about anybody. You know, I don't get into that. And it's like politics and religion. I don't regret any anything about politics or religion because I don't deal with it. It's nothing to do with me, you know, and political situations and religious views. Pff, I don't care. You know, the people, you're very welcome to them. It's not my department at all. They don't affect me either. They don't affect whether I build sandcastles or not, or whether I enjoy my work. So um, so that's it. So I don't have regrets about things, you know. And, uh, yeah, I just, I don't get it. I don't want, know why people keep them in a bag um, and pull them out. Oh, I should have done this. That is such a waste of time. And uh, so, uh, because you just end up getting more depressed about it, at the fact, the thing that you thought you should have done. Well, and I know people have hung on to them for 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, 10 years, 10 months. It, I mean, forget it. Move on. You know, take that regret and turn it into success, especially if it was a mistake. If you made a mistake, put it right. If you made a mistake, learn from it. If you made a mistake, OK, and it's turning into a big regret, you better figure out how to fix that because you're going to carry it around like a lead weight for the rest of your life. And you don't want to do that, especially not work. You always listen to that. Anyway, so there you go. So, um, and the people who have the same mindset as me, hmm, not many of those around. <laughs> but it's, I don't do this because I'm trying to pass on my mindset. My opinion is not supposed to be your opinion. My opinion is my opinion. And that's what I try and do is pass on a level of experience, not to change your mind, but to tell you the way something happened to me and what I did about it. And uh, that's what I'm trying to be. So the question, the mighty question, where do I want to be? And uh, I, as I say, I've struggled with it for weeks. And I found exactly, I've, I solved it a few days ago. And, um, and I thought right here, exactly here where I am now with who I am, my son constantly says to me, Dad, I don't know why you worry about stuff. Just be you. Well, that was good advice. He told me that a long time ago. And uh, my sons constantly tell me, like, relax, Dad. Everything's fine, you know. And uh, so, yeah, where do I want to be? I want to be right here. And I miss people. I miss my friends some of my, and my family are very far away. And uh, so I'm going to do something about that. But the whole point is um, I found where I want to be, and it's right here doing this. Talking to an empty camera in an empty room. No. <laughs> but no, enjoying my life is where I want to be. The life I built for myself is where I want to be. Um, achieving a little bit more would be lovely, and it, but it's not a driving force anymore. Um, uh, coming up with new ways to do things, yes, that drives me. Of course it does. And making people, giving people easier ways to, do, to achieve what I've achieved. Great. That's what experience is about. So that's where I am. So the answer to the mighty question is where do I want to be? I want to be right where I am, especially in here. Okay, so that's it. Short one today. Uh, I hope that's helped a few of you. Please leave comments and stuff below. Subscribe, follow, do all the other stuff. Um, uh, gently press the notification bell if you want to be notified of my podcast. Pass it on. I like uh, if you know somebody could benefit. Well, that's the whole point of this. I do. I don't. I don't get paid for this. I, that's not what I aspire to. I don't. Money's not. Uh, a big burning force so i do it to help you so that's it for today and uh, and this is me signing off um uh, from my little spot on the blue and green dot i'll see you next time bye <laughs>